Sweet. All right. OG duels always nice. Pack rats a card, that's for sure. Um, always like starting with a dork. Thraben might be okay uh, to get started. On. Actually, I'm almost tempted to get into Sprite because, like I said, getting into more of like a either blue white, blue black, Esper type control. I haven't really done anything quite like that. Um, it's not exactly staying open, but this is a good utility card. Can play it as a flyer. Can play it as a counter spell. Goblin Guide's good too. That would cut red and get us into aggro. I already did an aggro deck, and it was not super fun. Pack Rat or one of the Dorks is probably the better pick, but I'm tempted to grab Druid. We'll grab the Sprite and see where we get. All right, Dream Trawler is a very good control finisher. Um, Yehenny's is a decent sweeper. It's not the best sweeper. I actually really like Zombify as well. This is the kind of reanimate that you can get in this deck. Um, I don't know if I want to... That also can just be good if you have any creature. Which one's this one? This one's Mardu, so that would be more for... Well, that wouldn't be good for aggro, though, because it's tapped. For me, it's Zombify or Trawler, and I think Trawler is the better overall, like, if we get into white-blue, the better finisher. Um, but we'll see. It's also a cheaty reanimate target, so if we find other reanimate options or any other kind of cheat options... We'll be able to use it still, even if we don't have a white blue. Gristle Brand is also an excellent reanimate target. I would not mind getting into an Esper reanimate. Means we'll need to find some more ways to get this out. Could also get into a cheaty deck. That went okay last time we tried it. I don't think I'm going to pass Gristlebrand. Even if we don't play it, it's worth having the option. General wisdom, especially for this cube, probably really for any cube, is that you want to get your cheating spells first. Um, but we'll see. Victim is fine. So body double would be another... It's basically a reanimate spell. Um, so I think I like that. So here's an interesting choice. Ilharg is definitely a cheater. It cheats a card out for you. Um... And when it's Gristlebrand, you're going to be doing well. Condescend might be more in line with the original plan of kind of getting into control. But we might even, we might just be moving away from that and getting into more of a reanimate. Um, you can also seize yourself. Pun pseudo intended. Um... These might just be the best overall option. It's just control. All right, now we're talking. Ransack is good. Vigor Mortis, that's what we need. We need ways to get things into and out of the graveyard. So I think we want Vigor here. And then we hope... Ooh, Galta. Draw discard, that's solid. We could skip the Dream Trawler and get into Grixis control.
This would let us draw two, discard two. I think the looting is good. I think looting is what we want to do. Get stuff in the yard for us. Fumigate's good. Um... The fragility of this, that you can target it with anything, is a little scary, but that is a reanimate spell. And I also trust John that if this was really that bad, it wouldn't be in here. And we're going to want as many ways to reanimate as we can. Okay, Unburial came around. That is great news for us. And that's another excuse to play white. And Zombify. Great. Okay. We are off to the races. Guide wheeled around. Yeah. I And Jackalpup too. Uh, yeah. No. Red aggro is apparently still underdrafted. It definitely was a while ago. Um, I don't know. It's pretty wild. I wouldn't mind having this Surveil card. Surveilling is going to be good for us, but we need the Zombifies. That'll make four reanimate spells in pack one, which is great. And then we can Pacify. Uh, we can Victim. Now we need some lands, too. We're going to need some lands for sure. But yeah, I don't know if it's that people don't recognize the, the red aggro cards that are in here. I doubt that. I feel like I feel like anyone playing this cube is going to know. I think people just underdraft. Everyone's trying to do what I'm doing, you know. And I mean, the very first deck I drafted was red aggro, and it, it went fine. Um, I think we squeaked a 2-1 out of it. Uh, I don't mind Villas as a Gristlebrand's dorky younger brother. Uh, I mean, we're not going to play that. Probably not going to play Galta, but could be something to throw in the as a another cheaty target. Okay, so good options here. Fetch land is probably our best bet. Um, I know the gateway is a good cheaty, but I think we want to focus on the fact that we're going to reanimate with how many... Yeah, flats is the move for sure. Uh, but just talking through, I think if I wasn't taking that... I would actually take Doomblade over the gateway. Because um, we just have more ways to put stuff in the yard than not. I think the Delta is the move here as well. Because I don't, I also don't see any other... Supreme Will is tempting because that is quite, uh, quite a good dig spell. Um, actually, if anything comes around, I think I want Hell's Caretaker. Another... This is the black version of the, um, the Druid... The Magister's not bad either. Sweeps the board and then um, sticks around. And then if it dies, you can reanimate it. I like the Delta, though. I mean, we need we need some... We need some lands. A couple fetches will really help straighten things out. If we can pick up two, three duels, we'll be in good shape to go with the fetches. Either OG duels or shocks, ideally. Or like a the Esper Esper doesn't have a triome, so there's no there's no three color land in here for us. Sadly, but any of the duels will be good if they have a type, especially. The cycling one, fetid pools will be in here. That is okay in control. We don't mind moving a little slower. But I think for this pack, like we have. We have a bunch of the, like, this is the card. And, like, Vigor Mortis and Zombify are, like, some of the best reanimate in this. Other than, like, Shieldred. So, like, I would take Shieldred over almost anything else here. Because that's going to really be on our plan. Um, and the Swamp Walk will be relevant. As we saw in the last game. But, other than that, I'm going to take lands over almost anything else. Um... Yeah, like, these are all fine, but none of this is irreplaceable. 
Um, none of that. Vraska's is nice, but four we're going to want to be reanimating if we can. We need some more loot. Need some more looting. Alright, that's not going to cut it. I like Lily. Um, I like Lily and Cast Out. Again, I don't think we want four as much as we want some more threes. And Lily's a controller. We probably need to get a sweeper in here. Yeah, discard. Yeah, and he, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I like about Lily is the discard will get stuff in the yard, um, or we can force a creature sack. Tundra, ulcerate, anticipate. I don't like as well as the. Yeah, we also need to make sure we have some removal, like pacifism and and uh, victim will help. The counter spell on here will help. Thought seize. That's all good. But I want to make sure we have some removal. I think the Tundra is just the move here. Getting this in the yard could be good just for ribbons, but I don't think ribbons is going to be good in this cube as, as it would be in other places. If it wheels around, I'd be happy to take uh, the Sunwing. Just having a body that makes their stuff tapped is are both really good. Um, I think Gadwick's better in like Simic, Simic Shell. Courier... Mutavault's not the worst. Um, skin render might be okay. Give something minus three, minus three. It'll eventually die, and then we reanimate it. It's another four. I think I'm okay with skin render. Entomb! There it is! Yes! Oh, goddamn, an Emrakul? But Entomb is literally in here for one purpose, and that's to fuel our deck. Like, resolving an Emrakul is great. Nine cards in, th in like, the barest of theories that could wheel. But Entombing Gristlebrand is better than not Entombing Emrakul, so... That is a shame, though. That's, like, really sad to have those both in the same pick. Did I? No, we haven't seen this pack yet. Let's say, if I missed either of those, that's pretty bad. Oh, and Shieldred. Yeah. Like, reanimating Shieldred is awesome, because then you just keep reanimating stuff off of Shieldred. Unless they can deal with it. I like that. I don't know if I would run distress. If I run distress, I think I have to cut at least one of the blues here, because black, black, and blue, blue on two is asking a lot. Could also just grab city. I mean, we're doing okay on lands. Like, we have two fetches, and we have two lands that can be fetched by them. Um. And actually, well, we're getting city because I dicked around. Um, I think I like the Magister. I don't know if we run the Magister and Dream Trawler, but I would like to be able to pick between those later. Um, this, like, literally doesn't matter at all. Alright, red and green are clearly open. Uh, Doubt will run it, but the Overlord is actually playable in here, because that could just be a Entomb effect. I like having cheap removal. Colorless card. What's our last one? Emrakul. Nope. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Gonna have to tune it a bit. Uh, oh, interesting. 
I think Dread Return is actually the move here. I know the land is good and important. But having a double... We've got two, three, four, five. Five reanimates. Three at four and two at five. I almost wonder if just having Ugin, like, he's really hard to deal with. Just keeps making two twos and drawing cards. Um, but he's at six. Actually, intuition might be better. <laughs> There's a chance that entombs something good. Search for three cards. So Gristlebrand, Villas, and Shieldred. And then two of those go into the graveyard for sure. Yeah, that's our move here. We need more entomb if we can get it. And we literally have like no three drops. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. A lot of good stuff here. Doom Necromancer. 2-2 uh, two, two body that will reanimate something. I think that's a good move. Uh, this move does not discard anything. And uh, Brutality is discard a card, minus two, minus two, or drain two. That's very strong. But I like the Necromancer. Fills the three drop slot. And then... Um, is another reanimator. Like with that, I might be willing to cut Mannequin. Because that seems like the weakest one. Fetid Pools, Fetchable Land. Scry 2, Draw 2 isn't bad. I don't see much else I'm interested in here. Cycling might be helpful. Again... Hand cheat, but not necessarily what we want. Uh, on color Horizon Land, pretty tempting. Pretty tempting. Uh, White Sweeper, also tempting. Force of Negation could be good, except we, I'm actually thinking of getting pretty low on blue. Honestly, might even just go white black. I mean, we've got some blue, why not splash, I guess, but. It's probably fine. But I could see us going there. I think we need a sweeper. We don't have a sweeper yet. And it's getting late in the draft to not have any sweepers at all. Nice. Nice. These are both excellent for us. Oh, shit. And underground sea. All right. Do we think one of these will come around? Because I think Underground Sea is important. I mean, that gives us two OG duels, a five-color land, two fetches, a shock, and a cycle land. I think one of these will come around. I don't even care that much about Jace. I care about just getting stuff in the yard. But I don't think we should pass a land here. That's tough. That's that's tough discipline. But we got to do it. Wow. It's a crazy enchantment. We don't I don't think we need any more fours here. I'm already pretty like We've got a 3 a four, a four, and two fives. And I don't think Diabolic Servitude is better per se than anything else. I think I'd rather just have one more fetch. Yep. I don't mind just taking Dismember here. That's a very efficient kill spell. And technically it's a one drop. <laughs> We could, we could put it in as a three, assuming that it might just, might be castable at three. Uh, discard is good. Oh, wait. Search for four. It's the same thing. I wonder if Charter Course is just better. 
Just draw two, discard two. We're not even going to care about attacking. Like, this is just another strategic planning. Draw two, discard two. The battle sphere is reanimatable as well. We've got one, two, three. We've got four targets. Either of these might be fine targets as well. Discard just one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still. Draw two, discard one is still fine. All right, I'm tempted to grab push, but I think we have better things to do. Yeah, course is great. I agree. I'll take the dread return too. I think that's better than um, that's not better than zombify, but I think it's better than um, actually it's probably better than body double. Well, I mean we'll take it and we'll debate which one's best. Vigor mortis is pretty good too. I like vindicate. On color, three drop, problem solver, hits an Oko, hits a creature, hits everything. Don't need anything out of there. Um, so a copyable Doom Blade. I mean, probably not going to need that, but if we do, we'll want it. Um, take a colorless card, doubt we'll want that. Yeah. Well, red and green were open. <laughs> but Reanimator was open too. I mean, we got a ton. Doom Necromancer, Zombify, Vigor Mortis, Dread Return, Umbreal Rights, Body Double, Makeshift Mannequin. We got seven fucking Reanimate spells? Like, that was open. That was open for sure. Esper might not have been open, but that was open. And we're at like 26 cards, so we, we still have some cuts to make, but. So I think. What's up, Sidestep? Just drafted a little reanimate deck. Uh, we got the big daddy. We got his little brother. Uh, we got Shieldred, which I'm actually pretty impressed with, because that is just a reanimate spell a turn if it doesn't get dealt with. Uh... And we got kind of a random, random ass target. Uh, I think we're a little light on our loot spells, but we do have chart and tomb, which is like the the go to. Uh, we've got a discard, and we got intuition, which will let us um, entomb two cards pretty reliably. Um, we won't get to pick the two; we'll get to pick three, and and the opponent will pick which two go in the yard. But we'll make it hard for them by picking, you know. These three. Um, Dream Trawler might not be needed. Although it is a discard outlet. It is a discard outlet. I think I think we're heavy on the reanimate spells, maybe. Because like I don't wanna I don't wanna keep all these and then lose something like our sweeper or our ETB removal or our like cheap removal spells or our loots. Sprite could probably go. Sprite could probably go. We're not gonna we're not gonna be countering stuff like that on three. Um that's probably fine. But I think one of these goes. Uh Doomed Necromancer does not because it is hard to interact with once it lands. Um this would be bad against con against uh counter spells but good against removal based control because when they go to remove it you just sack it unless they do it in response to or you know while it has summoning sickness um unburial's got flashback but so does dread return dread return we're unlikely to have three creatures to sack so i think unburial's more likely to be flashbackable and we could always discard it and then cast it for four body double is five but the thing i like about this is you make a copy so like like, if you body double Gristlebrand, Gristlebrand's still in your graveyard. So if they kill the body double, you can still unburial Gristlebrand. Like, you can still reanimate him. Um, so, like, I'm almost wondering if Vigor Mortis is one to cut. I feel like we're a little heavy on them. These are all reanimate spells. So six of them? Is that... 
I'm really not sure if that's a good density or not. That might be too much. Yeah, and we do have the looter, um, which I like just being able to draw and discard every turn if we need to until it gets killed. And, like, if they waste their removal on Merfolk looter, great. Necro and Body Double are the weakest. I just like Necro because it's a three. Um, I guess you can technically do any of these on turn four. Right? So I guess I like it that it's a creature. It's a body. I'm probably overvaluing the flashback on that. <clears throat> and I mean, maybe we just don't need the Overlord. We've got... This will search for three, and these three are fine, but these two are fine as backups. Like, I don't mind reanimating the Magister and just having that. Like, kill everything else. So I think I might be happy with this. It's tough relying on our splash color for reanimate. That's fair, but we also got a lot of fixing. Our fixing is actually pretty good. Um, two on-color fetches. Uh, two on-color duels. Um, excuse me. All three on-color fetches. One of each. Cycling land and a five-color land. I'm not super worried about the splash color. But we could... I mean, I, we could cut body double. Blue is mostly for looting. Rights can be entombed, yeah. Yeah, like, if you cast Intuition, and then you get these three, you pull these three, it's, like, impossible to choose because one goes to hand, right? Like, if they put Unburial Rites in our hand and these two in the graveyard, boom. If they put Gristlebrand in our hand, we reanimate Villas. If we... If they put Villas in the graveyard, we re reanimate... Or, I mean, yeah. If they put Gristlebrand in the graveyard, like... Basically, if we... Intuition for these three, we make an impossible choice. Right? As long as we have four mana, including black or white. Alright, I'm sold on that. I would love, like, intuitioning these three would be fantastic. And then if you have any of these in hand, you just intuition for whatever else you need. I could see that. It's a pretty black heavy deck. Right. Well, that's a good point, sidestep. It's a good point that you can entomb it. If you've already discarded your fatty or whatever. But I especially like it with intuition, because searching up two fatties and a... Alright. Let's see how we're going to start with this. Well, we have intuition on three, vigor mortis on four. So we could be in a good place. We need black. <laughs> we need a lot of black. Um... But we have multiple turns to get there, and we have a lot of black sources in here. Woo! This could go very, very poorly. Like, I would really love for one of these sources to have black mana in it, and then I would feel super confident slamming this down. Oh, gosh. Technically, as well, if we end up entombing uh, Unburial Rites... We'll be able to cast that with white. I just don't think I want to wait three turns to make a you know any kind of a relevant, possibly relevant play. Okay. Well, we still have to wait for three, but Lily is pretty solid. And I'm happy to just toss Figure Mortis. We don't need both of our reanimates.
And we are on the play. So it's our turn three, their turn two, that will drop Lily. And then we can either make them discard or sack, either way. And we, if we discard Dream Trawler, we zombify it the following turn. That's great. Oops. Whew. Okay. Mana Dork, that's a bad start against us. Can probably just intuition here. Grab three fratties. And then zombify hopefully on four. <laughs> Man, this deck is cool. I hope so. I hope so. Alright. Alright. We're in a good place. Uh, it's a, Intuition is instant speed, so I'm going to give him that. And I'm just going to put three, three fatties out and let them pick which one they want to see reanimated. So they're going to dome us for th four. Okay, so they're not using their dork. I also, I like the green matchup here. Even if they have another color going. Target opponent. Oh, okay. I was like, why do I have to target an opponent? Blue, white, black. Here we go. So we're going to say Gristlebrand. Shieldred. Villas. Whew. That's probably scary. I hope it's scary. They have one mana open and nothing that does counter magic. Like, they really don't have a way to stop us from getting one of these creatures on the board this turn. And that's a nice turn four. Okay, they do not want us to have Gristlebrand. Um... So Shieldred will get us Villas next. I'm going to cast this for all black because it feels good. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. That felt good. That was quick. They just know they have nothing they can do to deal with it. So I think against their green, if I was going to bring anything in, it would be a little bit more removal. Um, but I'm not sure that's even... I don't think there's anything I need to take out. Like, Shatter is still good. And a lot of these others are just role players. There's nothing I'm really worried about, except mulligans. Okay, so no blue source. Well, I guess this is a blue source for intuition. I mean, maybe we just do the same thing. We can't search for Gristlebrand, but this time we intuition for unburial rights. Like, they just don't have... Well, unless they have, like, a Scooze effect. Um, and we don't even sit your brass. We'll fetch up a, a blue source. Yeah, I would have done rights, except that we were holding Zombify. So it was like, why not? Just give it three targets. I mean, I'll play the looter. Why not? Because that'll also let us discard Gristlebrand. <laughs> so we intuition at the end of their next turn. The problem is if they can get... Well, that's that's big. That's big game. That's big game. We might want to shatter first. Domus for four. Can also uh, chump next turn if we need to.
They might have a fast enough start to make this a problem for us. I mean, maybe we can scare them off. Okay, so... Shieldred... Um... What's the, uh, unburial, and do we just do Magister for the Sweeper? I think we actually do. And then they'll probably give us Unburial because it costs five. That's exactly what I would do. And then we're going to chump with the looter next turn, because this is a lot of creatures facing us down. Uh, and we'll discard Unburial Rites. And then we'll unbury the Magister as a sweeper. Whew. This is scary. Three, six, nine coming at us. Possibly ten. Yep. Oh, Exalted is just till end of turn. I didn't even realize that. Nice. It's a lot of cards. Feed's a pretty good card. I'm kind of... It's kind of fun that that's in here. Just want to make sure I understand Magister right. Could also... Yeah. So we vote Condemnation... Which will leave us with the 4-4. Four, four. We'll kill everything else. Which will include setting them back on lands pretty far. Alright. They're going to swing for 9. We'll chump block. Loot. Uh-oh. Doesn't have trample, right? Okay, Whew. Suddenly, sweeping doesn't feel as good. Okay. Except they're also going to be out of cards. Oops, all planeswalkers. Yeah, but... Sweeping is still pretty good. Um, and necessary. I mean, it's the only way we're going to survive. At all. Just yield to that. Planeswalkers, fun and interactive magic. I mean, you're not wrong. They're also down to two lands, so... Um, you know, they can make it an 8-8. But we can kill that next turn. Although Sylvan Library is bad. We're, we're in a rough spot here. We'll see. We'll see. We've still got Shatter. We've still got Victim of Night. We've still got Lily. We can cast Victim and Lily. All in one turn. If they keep... Yeah, see they're making two lands to force their way around. But we can... Oh, damn. That might be it, right? Yeah, because we can block four out of 14. That's that. Okay. 
So if we had lived, shatter would have worked. Well, that sure is a big green deck. Um, we don't have any other sweepers, which sucks. We could try to get more cheap removal, like I said. And like... I think that's the only thing we can do. Um, lifelink is going to be important. The sweeper is still important. Skin vendor is still pretty good. Like, these will all still hit stuff. Oh, fuck it, I'll run 41. I don't know what to cut. The, both of these decks almost feel like it's a die roll. The one who plays first. Alright, so we're going to Entomb on one. <laughs> Which might discourage them a bit. And we do have Dread Return, and we've got three lands. So I'm in pretty happy here. That might... Okay, that's a good start for them. Wait to entomb in case they have a scooze. Sure. Doesn't hurt me to wait. I mean, we have it intuition anyway. I like fetching the OG duels, I will say that. Jeez, this is a reason to entomb early. I'm going to draw all our good stuff. Invites the Scoos blowout, yeah. That's what I like about intuition too, is it's going to put two things in the yard that I want. I've got two reanimate spells. I have no reason to... And Embarrow writes right, dirty in my hand. So intuition's just gonna be three big threats and two of them are going in the yard. <laughs> Hear me out. No screws in the cube. All right. Intuition for a land because they're gonna give it to us. Rut row. Getting a five drop. Yeah, but I mean, if they... Vorapede. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, that's not good. That's not what we want. Missing the end step is not what we want. Hit the button one too many times. They'll give us Gristle Brand because they know that's the worst of the three. Sloppy play, gonna lose me the match. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Took them a while because they were busy laughing at my dumbass.
Sylvan Library. Alright, well, them not getting Planeswalkers is at least a good start. That at least slows things down a bit. Means we can kill their Vorapede twice. But they're about to pop off with Library. The only good thing is next turn we can reanimate Dream Trawler as well. Um, which is Hexproof. Or can be hexproof. Has the lifelink will help a lot. So that's good. Hopefully we can salvage my misplay. <sighs> Gotta stay focused. Getting Villas out was a big one too, because we can we can ping down a couple of these guys. Damn. Yep. Yep. And now they're gonna go wide. Adorable. I don't know if we have a way to deal with that. A lot of cards. We're just dead to wide, right? Because they've got a planeswalker, they're just gonna keep turning lands into creatures. Unfucking believable. Because we can sweep, but that won't get Nissa. Yeah, it's flying, but we hit him for eight. They're at eight. I mean, I'm not going to get two attacks out of this. Unless you can think of a way for me to kill the walker. Do I have the mana for that? I can Vindicate Nissa, but then I don't have the mana to sweep. Oh, kill Nissa with Villas, then sweep. Right. Right. One, two, three, four. They do still have Sylvan Library, so there's a really good chance they just get the other Nyssa, but it's worth a shot. Plus, they're going to draw a card along with me. Villas can be reanimated again. All right. The only other good thing is we're going to discard a bunch of good stuff here. It's over here. Godless Shrine, we'll keep that. Actually, that comes in tapped and we have plenty of lands. I wish I could actually discard these so I could see what's left. Oh, and we don't need Entomb. There we go. Oh, gosh. And then we have to reanimate Gristlebrand unless they can scooze it. All right, that makes a beast, but it doesn't make haste. There's still 
Bad things that can happen. Three damage to a creature or a wolf. And then what does he flip into? He makes a wolf. Sack a creature or give a buff. Okay, here's the good news. We can kill the wolf and reanimate Gristlebrand. One, two, three, four black sources. Because we've still got black, black. And if they make a bunch of stuff, or if we can kill the wolf first, then we can malicious affection and get two kill spells out of it. No, you're right. Attacking is going to be hard here. Okay, four. They're getting something reasonably specific, I would think. Something with haste? Yep. Let them swing. We'll block the wolf, gain seven life, kill the questing beast. Not in that order, obviously. Plus three, plus three, trample. That's fine. Commit to the attack. Whew. Oh, boy. All right, well, that gains me seven life. And I still have reanimation spells. Oh my gosh, y'all, my heart. My heart can't take it. Y'all, that was close. That was close. Woo! Gristlebrand, you my boy. Oh. And honestly, I mean, I know the, I know missing that end step was bad, like taking the turn off, but it still would have been rough. It still would have been scary. That deck worked fast. All right. I'm like freaking out. I need a pee break. Thank you, Rolf. That was, I'm glad that was fun to watch. I like making good. I like when it's fun to watch because that's, that's what y'all are here for. I'm glad I can make it entertaining <laughs> at the expense of my heart rate. All right. I'm going to take a quick, like a literally a one minute break and then uh, we'll finish this up.
All right. My heart cannot take any more of that. Green was also like basically mono green monsters was going to be a great matchup for us. You know, even if they'd gotten, even if we didn't have a way to deal with Questing Beast, if we had blocked with Gristlebrand, gain seven and kill it, we still would have been in a great place because we had the reanimate spell. So like, yo, what's up, Trix? We are playing reanimate and uh, our opponent stole a game with some just absolutely rampant mono green planeswalkers, but that was like the nuts draw and... We have put Gristlebrand on the board like four times already. Um, this seems pretty good in Tomb and Vigor Mortis and two lands. Um, and I know we generally want to wait to Entomb, but we can easily do it on two. We've got some point removal. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good yeah so Trex I don't know do you prefer Trex or T-Rex uh, I don't know how familiar you are with the cube but um, the entomb effects and the reanimate targets are super solid in this cube like there's your gristle brain and everything um, <laughs> first one Trex um, what's, uh, what's slow or what's weakened to make it not run away with every single game is your um, reanimate. You really don't have an opportunity to reanimate for less than four total mana. Um, I'm going to entomb now. I know doing that later is considered the right move, but the big G. Oh, I like the looter here, too. I really like that. Because we can discard Magister in case we end up wanting a sweeper. But, like, we got a lot of good 4-drop reanimate. Like, no one was in it. Um, so we got a ton of... Uh, and then we're going to make it really tough on them. Actually... And we're not even going to swing, because what we're going to do... This time I'm going to do it in their end step. Before anyone makes any snide remarks about how poorly I play. Hopefully we draw a land in here. And then since we didn't... All right, and then we need to make this tough on them because we want to land. And I could see them not putting the land in the yard. But we'll try it. So we're going to do Villas. We're going to do... Jeez, all our good stuff's already in the yard. Uh, we're going to do Unburial. And we're going to do... Underground C. We'll see what they give us. The Entomb probably gave it away. So I would not be surprised if they give us Villas in hand. But with Gristlebrand and Unburial rights in the yard, as long as we can get that land. We have two draws for that, though. We have two draws for that. Yep, that's exactly what I would have done. Give me Villas. That's fair. Oh boy. All right. Good news here. If we don't get... Dang. All right. Um, fine. No, they might just be able to kill that before we have a chance to activate it next turn. But we'll see. Although I would think if they could, they would have done it in the end step. Mm. 
Okay. Maybe they're going to wait till we activate it? But I'm not going to? That or they have counter magic. Oh, it was checking for green. I guess I could have put green on it with city, huh? Sloppy play! They only have one blue source, so counter magic seems less likely. Nope. Okay. I'll attack with it. Four mana, haven't cast a single spell yet. There it is. There it is. But that's their turn. Like, that ain't good for them. And there's nothing they can do about this. All right. Um, let's keep our fetches. We can get rid of a swamp. And I think if we have ulcerate, skin render, and dismember, we don't need pacifism? Actually, victim is narrower and I, th I think we keep Lily we probably don't need Shatter at this point we have so much point removal and they're kind of moving slowly votes for a non-land permit you don't control huh <laughs> that's funny okay Exile is solid there. I'll give him that one. Alright, so I think we want Villas. This is a good thing about that intuition is getting multiple threats in there makes it so much harder to deal with. Now watch them just have all the sweepers. Okay. Yeah, Fiend isn't going to do a lot for them right now. Nice. Dread Return is good. Gives us a couple options. Um, do we even have another... Oh, yeah, because we didn't grab green, Dream Trawler or any of that stuff. Um, well, we'll get in there for eight. We cannot play stin Skin Render right now. One, two, three. Do we play land yet? No. Okay. Now, Dread Return. We could do. Um, I guess we could bring back Magister and vote for Grace. No, because if it's tied, it'll destroy our dude. Um, could just bring back our Merfolk Loader, Merfolk Looter. I think we hold Dread Return right now. Um, I 
Because I can afford to discard a card here. Yeah, they've got something. Okay. So they've got a fair bit of discard as well. I almost wonder if they're on a similar plan as ours. If there's something to do with the graveyard here. Discarded a brain maggot, so they're discarding all their hand attack creatures. I'll just discard Skin Render, because can't play that without targeting my own creature right now. And I mean, we've got instant speed removal, we've got enchantment removal, we've got more reanimate. If they kill this, just bring it back. I don't know what else to do. There we go. Alright. Sure. Let's go get a land. I'm gonna need that one way or the other. Get the pools. And I don't think we have a way to hit her right now, right? Yeah. Let's play the land. I don't need to fetch anything right now. That's crazy. We actually have like literally no way to deal with the Planeswalker. Um, but we do have a way to get Villas back, so that's a thing. And Spell Pierce would not cut it here. Alright, so they're going to make three 1-1s, one -ones, which doesn't really worry me, because I can make them sack one. We can ulcerate one in the end step if we have to. We can dome them for eight. We could pacifism a soldier. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. That's actually a little scary. Bring himself to try and draw a card. Cool. Dream Trawler, hard cast, it is. And that being able to be hexproof is going to be very helpful in this matchup. I don't want to pay all my life away to dismember, but I will happily just get rid of one of those real quick. Oh shit, that's three life too. Uh, okay. Not scary at all. Not scary at all. White, white, blue, blue, black, black. Oh, come on. You serious right now? I feel like they do not have super high threat density and yet we're still having a hard time here. Really wanted to land Dream Trawler there. Tesseret, Megathopter, just to go wide around us, probably. Draw a card. Oh, 
Okay. Yep. Get our villas back. Oh wait. Probably want to make them sack a creature just to cut it down. If we can get a block or an attack off with Dream Trawler, we're better. Get some life back. But if they can target Dream Trawler and make us hexproof it, then we're dead. Four mana fumigate. Uh, hexproof won't help here. Because they're going to do that and then they're going to make more creatures. Right? And gain life. Well, that's unfortunate. So I don't think there's anything we can do there. Right? I mean, I guess we could dig. Should dig first. Interesting. This won't reanimate until next turn, which will be too late. Two, four, six, eight, seven. Yeah. And we don't even have a way to deal with the flyer, so. Yeah, because we don't have any more draw. Big oof. There's so much control going around right now. I'm kind of mad I didn't pick up a way to deal with Planeswalkers other than just having big fatties to attack them. Play it as is. Did they have anything to body double? I mean, not really. Um, they don't have any better creatures than we do. Uh, cruiser, yeah. Yeah, at four, that's pretty, pretty rough. Some of it's also just draws. I mean... Oof. I mean, if we had a blue source instead of any one of these cards, this would be perfect. Because this is exactly what we want to do. It's Intuition on 3 and Dread Return on 4. We need to be faster here. Okay, Chart on 2 means we can fix a lot. Um, and being able to Vindicate will help slow things down. We can blow up a land if we have to. We'll see. And honestly, I think we discard Unburial unless we draw Gristlebrand. <laughs> In which case, we discard that. But... Not a bad start for a Super dirtily control deck. Alright, very happy to draw and discard here. We keep the swamp. We do not currently need pacifism. And then we're going to intuition for three th threats, probably. Could vindicate colonnade. 
That's actually kind of tempting. Put them off a of land. Yeah, counterspell. Sure. Got a spell out of their hand. I'll take that too. Next turn we can Intuition and Thought Seize. Or Thought Seize and then Intuition. Which I don't hate. Very good against... I think Banishing Light's the worst one, actually. Hmm. Missalandra? <laughs> okay. Because... I don't really... Oh, well, I guess if I had the the uh, reanimate in hand, that would have been good. Did I... Okay. Was I, did I click him? thought I did. I mean, I think you always put Gristlebrand in hand, just Don't let allergy symptoms rain on your parade. bad news bears, yeah. Like, pretty clearly the worst of all of them. Oh boy. Oh boy. They are missing land drops left and right. That's bad news. Magister first. I vote Grace. Doesn't matter. They vote Grace. I get a free flash or a free uh, reanimate. And then we can flash that back or Vigor Mortis. Doesn't matter which. In subsequent turns. Oh my gosh. Oh, they did make their drop this time. Okay. I was like, geez. Wow. What do they have in hand? Maybe they're actually flooded? Oh, alright. Bad draws for them. Sorry. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can improve on here against this matchup. Wow. Well, once again, Intuition and Zombify in the same opening hand. Pacifism is probably dead here. If we get land screwed, we're in trouble, but that's just true anytime, right? I mean, ah, perfect. All right, we're in a good place. Can vindicate. Oh, I wish we could vindicate now while they're tapped out. Really blow them out. Oh, wait. 
Not that it matters, but let's do fetid pools while the tapping doesn't matter. Jeez, getting all our all the stuff we want in hand. Uh, I was really hoping they would tap out so I could vindicate. Actually, I think I'd do that anyway, just because it... Uh, it's either going to set them back, or it's going to force them to use a counter spell. Yeah, that's fine. Because that would have been intuition. Had we not done that. Plus, we need to land, so. Ooh, that sucks. They're gonna take intuition now. Pacifism is so dead against this deck. Like zero creature control. Yeah. That makes sense. There's our land. Nothing to zombify. So we play our necromancer into a counter spell. Rev rebuff, that's my guess. Oh, all right. Not what I expected. All right, now we just need charter course. So we can get Villas in the... Villas in the yard. In the, uh, in the graveyard. Where it belongs. I'm a little sad we didn't get a Vindicate off on the Colonnade, but I'm not surprised. They have way too many counter spells in here for that to be likely on turn three. Um, as far as like versus, so asking what my opinion is on this cube versus Takara cube. Um, I could contrast them, but I wouldn't compare them in the sense of, like, I wouldn't, like, definitely there's no, like, better or worse about it. They're very different. Um, so one of the things I liked about the Dakaro Cube uh, was just overall, um, how do I say this? The power band was a little lower just because you didn't see any of the, like, blowout cards, like Gristlebrand, like... Oko, um, there were still some very strong cards, but like even Lightning Bolt and Counterspell weren't in there. So it didn't feel as much like what you would expect from a Legacy Cube. I think if you just walked into a Legacy Cube, like the things you would expect to see, you didn't see. And I actually liked that because it made a very different environment. We all had to like learn and adapt. And there was a lot of fair magic. Like you could do some broken things and you could do some like pretty crazy like cheaty ramp stuff or you could do some kind of mild combo stuff but overall it really felt like you just had to like play your opponent for real um game one of match one with this was like a turn four gristle brand just snapped off intuition three zombify four and it was against mono green and they just scooped because they just literally had no solution for that um they barely had any in their deck, and they definitely didn't have any in hand. Uh, that's going to happen a little bit more in this cube, although Reanimate and Cheat in particular, I actually think he did a really good job uh, kind of making those fair. Like, like I have Gristlebrand and a bunch of Reanimate spells, but I'm not just running away with games because I have to do it on four, and that makes a big difference. Um, Alright, so we can 
dismember for one, get our intuition back and cast it. But unfortunately, we won't be able to reanimate this turn, which stinks, because if we had a... One more land. Um, I think white's fine here. I guess they might have a counter spell for that as well. Um, and then uh, the biggest thing with this cube is that there are, with actually both cubes, honestly, there were lots of similar effects. So like lightning bolt, chain lightning. Um, I, don't, I forget if rift bolt is in here, but like you can build a tight, tight, tight mono red aggro burn deck and just go to town. You can build a control deck with five, six, eight, two and three mana counter spells and some like one mana counter spells like spell pierce and stuff. Um, Got to pay four. All right. Yeah, and there's nothing to do until we can entomb some stuff. Um, now they windmill slam that Tez. Draw a card, I assume. Their hand is very low. And this is definitely a cards in hand kind of deck. Wow, they made a Thopter. Okay. I don't think I expected that. It's not like they have to... Well... Sure. Um, I will say I think like I personally had a little bit easier time handling the Dakaru cube. Like a lot of the decks that I've drafted here have not gone the way I thought they would. Fuck, I don't even have black for this. What is happening right now? I really need an Entomb. I really need some more mana. I need a lot of things. Yeah, they're on six lands and we're on four. That's bad. That's real bad. And there's nothing in my yard to hit. That's not good. Um, yeah, like I just... I don't know, maybe the gameplay is just much higher level in this cube. Um, and I'm punting more, but... And they're just going to make Thopter Army. I do have a sweeper. It's not ideal right now. Alright, that's good. Um... It is the Brain Maggot of Hell. It really threw off the whole plan. This whole deck, I mean, it's all hand attack. It's all counter spells. And then a bunch of draw. Cheap draw. A bunch of games that are close. Trex, are you talking about in this cube? I agree that... I agree that games are generally close. Um, yeah. Yeah. Games are very close here. Like, one misplay can make all the difference. I mean, I barely pulled out game two of match one. I was literally at one life fighting to resolve a gristle brand and still almost died. I mean, and I think if you're seeing that, because I, I, know, I know I'm feeling like that's what's happening, but, like, all my sample size is me, right? Oh, and they're going to duress me, too. They are refusing to let me entomb, which is really mean. Harder to draft a deck than in Dakaro Cube. Dakaro had more archety archetype focus. So it was, yeah, it did simplify your picks. That's fair. Um, that is fair. Here's a lot of good cards. Sequence really matters. Yeah, I do think I do think it's much harder to draft and play this cube. At least the play. I mean, draft. Yeah, you don't get on rails as much.
I'm about to hard cast Villas in a minute here. Um, I think I gotta stem the bleeding here. Duplicate effects make draft decisions less meaningful. Yes and no. Um, I don't think it's so many that oh, they're gonna turn the colonnade on. That blows. This deck that we're playing against is the worst kind of deck to lose. It feels like it has no plan, and so many cards do so little. But it just cobbles together all this silly value. It's actually, it's actually pretty frustrating. Like I know Colonnade's a good card, but it's just like, it's the definition of dirtle. It's the absolute worst. <coughs> oh my god. All right, so they have like officially three threats here. And even pacifism doing that isn't going to feel good. They're going to kill us with fucking thopters. It's just fucking disgusting. <sighs> well, I can cast Magister, and then there's a small chance that it'll stick, but they've had so much fucking disgusting counter magic. Wow, I'm honestly shocked that that stuck. Let me force the sweeper. Yeah, and they'll put that back in their hand. The only good thing is that's literally the first time I've seen they didn't do it. Okay. At least we have something to zombify now. Skin render is not great, but... Oh, right. It happens at the beginning and end step. Um, draft is easier in this one. You have a lot of playables, but the small decisions are more important. I agree with that. It feels more intricate in that way. Yeah, like, do you want that six removal or fourth threat? There's lots of layers. Like, I was playing a cheaty green-red deck the other day, and, like, there was just little stuff like... Um, the uh, Night Pack Ambusher is fantastic against blue control because if you can get it to stick, they have nothing to counter. You just stop casting spells and you start making wolves. But then if they have a lot of removal, um, you have other options. So it's it's pretty intricate in its own way. Yeah. All right. And then they're going to make a Thopter. They're tapped out, which is good. Well, all but tapped out. All right. So we're going to do that. We're going to entomb a gristle brand while you can't do anything about it. Actually, uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's going to be gristle brand. That's the card. And then we're still one shy, which absolutely fucking sucks. Are they going to get this back? Yeah, because they'll still be able to activate it. Make the switch from pills to Flonase allergy relief. <sighs> Flonase relieves sneezing, itchy, watery eyes, runny nose. Plus Less sideboard decisions in Takara's cube. There definitely, there definitely were some incredible, uh, some incredible decks in Takara's cube. Very cool. So they're gonna, they're gonna reanimate our Gristle Brand, which is just fucking garbage. Unbelievable. And it's a four-four, which is like. Insulting. This game has not gone well for us. And the Scarab God, we did not see in the draft, would have fit real nice in our deck. Okay, well, go for it. Spotify Premium lets you play all your favorite songs and playlists ad-free. 
so there's nothing to interrupt your flow. Tap the banner to try three months of premium yep. right now for free. Yep. Oh my god. Alright, I'm done with this fucking game. That is the most annoying deck to play against literally in the world. So much dirtle. Like, you're just not even playing. I mean, just so dirtily. So dirtily. Esper event. It's a tough deck to build in its own way because, like, you have to have just the right amount of draw that you don't run out of gas. And I think they must have built it pretty well, but that is the least fun amount, uh, the least amount of fun I've ever had playing Magic right there. Right. Just sitting there doing nothing. All right, well, this is garbage. I'm sure it's soft to aggro, but no one's drafting aggro. Yeah, aggro would blow them to pieces. They have nothing to deal with. Can't remand a goblin guide. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Alright, so this is how it's going to go. Every single deck I've drafted in the Cultic Cube, I go into it like, wow, this deck is really sweet. And then there'll be one match where it's like, wow, this deck is really sweet. And then there'll be stuff like that and stuff like this, where we're going to mulligan to fucking five and die. On the draw, too. Like, we're going to be so far behind. Why even play this game? These might not be necessary if they're on gruel. Yeah. <laughs> hey! How's it going, John? Oh boy. None of these are good. I think Questing Beast is the scariest one. Well, we got the Gristlebrand deck, and match one was an absolute blowout uh, for us, and match two was an absolute... You're just turning in your first cube draft of the day, huh? Well, I will try to make this last match interesting for you. It's been a ride. I will say that. Um... Because we just took a mold of five on the draw, and that's pretty bad. But we'll see. Can drop our Vindicate next turn if we have to. No, uh, match one, we blew them out. I mean, one of them was hard fought, but game one, we had a Gristlebrand on four uh, into an instant scoop. So it went quite well. Uh, game two was... Esper Dirtle, um, and we, well, we didn't get blown out, but we lost. It was really gross uh, and took forever. Uh, and then we'll see. Appear to be on Gruel Monsters right now, which is good for us um, if we can get there. Because there's not much they can do against our best stuff. That's true. That is exactly what happened last game. It was not the best television. 
But I mean, like, I do think Mission Accomplished, like the Gristlebrand deck, definitely does not just blow games out on turn two. Um, although we're about to get Dome for five, so. But there's literally nothing you can do mull the five, like. You know, unless we draw a Gristlebrand right now, discard it, and then immediately reanimate it, we're probably just dead. I'm surprised they didn't pump that. That means they have something else they want to cast. I'm going to get a white source. A little afraid of ending up without one. There's been a ton of control in this all along, for sure. And then I draw a Godless Shrine. Not really. Online queue people don't play aggro. Yeah, I mean, Goblin Guide wheeled uh, when I drafted this. And the only reason I didn't take it is I know... Um, They're playing Ambusher. Ambusher. Yep. Yep. Good call. Good call, Trex. So that's why I left this up to block. I should have done it last time, but I didn't want to chump it yet. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, that's game then. Uh, actually, I guess technically it's not. It's a great way to attack and not cast a spell. Oh my god. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I guess technically a wrath could give us another one more turn, but we don't have any discard either, so. Ha! <laughs> one land shy of pseudo stabilizing. Garbage draws. I don't mind bringing in a little extra cheap removal against these green decks that have a lot of creatures. Alright, what we need is to play. And we need not to get... Oh my god! Another one lander. And it's tempting for Entomb, but we're just going to end up on one land. Alright, this actually is better. Because uh, we can chart on two to get rid of Villas and we can zomb zombify on four. That I have a little faith in. That's a good question, Trex. Alright, so we're going to draw some stuff. Discard Villas. We'll Vindicate next turn, probably. Depending on what they play. Try to set them back. Maybe we even hit a land. Maybe we hit Raging Ravine. Oh yeah, if they don't cast anything... Vindicate Raging Ravine and then Zombify Villas next turn. Daddy likes that. I really like that. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Um, yeah, I mean, Cultic, I think for sure, like, I would have grabbed that Goblin Guide pack one, because it was followed by a Jackal Pup pack two, and those were the only red cards in either of those packs, and they both wield. 
which was insane to me. Um, but I definitely would have happily grabbed them. But as I've told you before, um, especially uh, when I'm trying, um, you know, someone else's cube, uh, I try to... Uh, I, yeah, that is insane, right? I try to get into different stuff. Like, yeah, Guide Wield and then Jackal Pup followed it. And they were literally the only red cards that maybe maybe like a couple picks around people thought that it was getting cut. But I'm like... Alright. If they don't have... And I don't know what they would have in green red. If they don't have some kind of way to get rid of Villas, we're in a really good place here. Um... Villas himself is removal and draw. We can victim of night. Like, I would be happy to minus one, minus one this, swing, get a card, dome them for eight, and hopefully we draw into some land so that we can hard cast Dream Trawler, or we draw into some uh, looting effects so we can discard it and bring it back later. Because uh, we could dome the elves with black, and then we could cast Doom Necromancer. Um, we would just need a way to discard Dream Trawler. But if we dome the elves and we draw, like, Charter Course or something, which we already cast, but whatever. One of those other... Oh, wow. Alright. That's just an X spell, right? Yeah. And it doesn't even have reach. So I guess they're just trying to do anything to keep mana up. Oh, come on, Cultic. If you're going to say that, at least say I can reanimate that math for you. We're going to need a white source next turn if we want to... Yeah, we'll have enough. That's good. That's good. So I actually think we can just victim this. And then swing. Even if they play a dork, technically we can still burn it with Villas. This is how this deck is supposed to run. We just we just ran really cold last game. I mean, just terrible, terrible draws. Mull to five. All bad stuff. All bad stuff. That wasn't... Wasn't anyone's fault. We also... A uh, card I wasn't super familiar with, John, was... Um, uh, Intuition, which we got. And really loving the play of that. Really loving the play of that. Now, obviously, just picking three Gristlebrandy threats is like... Because we got Gristlebrand, Shieldred, and Villas. So, like, to me, those are the top three black reanimate, like, targets. Probably, honestly, anywhere. Like, all of Cube. Uh, yeah, lots of nostalgia on that one. It's a good... Yeah, they didn't... They, were, <laughs> they used Rampant Growth to look through their deck and see if they had a solution to a resolved Villas, which they did not... Yeah, John, check this deck out. Like, I think it came together. We we cut body double and makeshift mannequin because literally no one was in this archetype at all. I mean, we got Zombify, Dread Return, Vigor Mortis. We got the Doom Necromancer and Unburial Rites. That's the other thing that I really like is the spice of, oops, is Intuition for Unburial, Gristlebrand, and Shieldred. It's all bad decisions for the opponent. No matter what they put in the yard or in your hand, nothing feels good. Um, yeah, it's it's sweet. And we did that. We did that in, in match one. Um, match one very much went in our favor. Mono green does not have a lot of solutions to us. Um, which is kind of a good feeling. So I like having Zombify in the opening hand. I don't like that we don't have any way to drop something in the yard yet. But chart on two can solve a lot of problems. So we're going to give this a whirl. We did get Entomb as well. Yep, Entomb and Intuition, Charter Course, and Merfolk, Mor wow. Merfolk Looter are our main modes of getting stuff in the yard. And then we also got Lily of the Veil. Um... Which gives us a good discard outlet. So I felt pretty good about the mix of like... 
See, I like this. I like discarding Magister here. Oh, what the hell? Oh yeah, I like this. We have lots of removal for next turn, and then we can also... Premises, eight one drops at a minimum. 82% have at least one in your opening seven. Okay. I like that we basically have three removal spells right now, next turn. We can dismember for one. That'll kill something and activate Morbid. And then we can Malicious aff Affliction and hit two things. Like Questing Beast. Now we're not going to have to. But I like that we can. Granted, we're also going to take five here, so that hurts. We're going to have to go to ten to kill off all this stuff. No, oh, Shieldred, you're supposed to be in the graveyard. Alright, so once again, we have a 4-mana spell, and we just need a land to cast it. Because if we get Magister back, we're in good shape. No, we don't need to use it. 540 environment, we're drafting 360. You'd like at least 10 aggressive ones of that color to appear. Alright, I like where your logic is going here. Off-color... Horizon land. I like that. Come on, land. Seriously, right now? Fine. Doom Necromancer. Not the worst way to go. I would love to discard my hand and draw three cards right now. There's the Ambusher. Not unexpected. Actually, I wasn't even thinking about it, but it's not surprising, I guess. I wouldn't be surprised if they attack, pass, make a wolf, uh, but that's when we'll bring back the Magister with the Doom Necromancer. So we're going to have to take four here, possibly more. Hopefully Questing Beast was their only major haste. Are they going to fight it? They're going to fight it. So a land is going to be our only... Yeah. I would as well. Take four, go to six. All right, come on, land. Okay, geez, I was going to say, if we don't get that, we're in real trouble. And then we're going to vote for condemnation and blow out their creatures. Two cards in hand. We are still pretty tentative here because all we have is a 4-4 four, four, and we are down on life. Okay. All right. Mostly dorks here. And then they're going to draw a card, which means they didn't have anything good left. All right. So we need, like, intuition or something. Um... Technically, we could unburial our Doom Necromancer, but I don't think that's good. We need a lot more sources to cast any of this stuff. I'm not even sure I can attack here. Because they're going to crack back for one, which is significant when we're at six life. They are in one card in hand. Well, two now, which I am happy with. Um, but I'm a little afraid to leave myself open. Green can move real fast in this cube. Like, green can go from 0 to 60 real fast. I know, I probably should swing, but I just need, I need some other kind of fuel. I need an Entomb or something.
Yeah, that just changed the clock. And pro multicolor means we're in a little trouble. I mean, almost like I just need to bring the Necromancer back as a as a chump blocker. I don't see any other option. Like I'm just delaying. we're two draws away from a shatter like two white sources we're three sources away from a dream trawler honestly intuition is our best draw right now so we can drop gristlebrand in the yard well no technically entomb is our best draw here of course because we can actually entomb and dread return all in one turn Amazing! Yep. <laughs> For sure. Grab a white source. So now we're one white source away from a shatter, which would at least help. Not a lot, though. Oh, jeez. Beast. Amazing! So we die. No, I know. We can wipe again. Yeah, that's that's why I... <laughs> Thanks, opponent. They are at zero cards in hand, which is good. Really glad I picked up this Magister. Having the, the I get a creature sweeper has been very good to us. And having ulcer, oh no, ulcerate will kill us. Damn. I guess we just want to draw a land and play Shieldred. Like, just get a big fucking 6-6. Six -six. Alright, at least they're bricking. Oh my gosh. I can't even seize them. It's a lot of cards I just cannot play right now. <laughs> can't play a fetch. Can't play a shock land untapped. Can't play ulcerate. Can't play thought seize. Got to keep my eyes open. Oof is right. Now. Yeah. That's a pretty good draw for them. Draw whatever creature you want next turn. Draw a fetch next. I undoubtedly will, John. I have two modes. Draw the nuts, draw the worst. I don't seem to draw much in between. <laughs> I can keep them off red. What did they reveal? I didn't even look. The metamorph? That's adorable. I mean, I'm going to have to save Vindicate for that. Does that thing look at the graveyard? Wipe each other for the next two turns. Won't that be fun? It's just on the battlefield, right? Yeah, because it's not like it gets haste or anything. 
Actually, honestly, what I need to do is just draw it to... I mean, I can't not vindicate this thing. But I need to... I need to draw eight cards so I can just discard Shieldred. Like, fuck. They voted Grace because they want to reanimate. That actually makes sense. Oh my gosh. Pretty soon. Two turn clock. Holding Vindicate feels pretty good. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I wasn't even looking at chat. But yeah, you're right. No, we don't have to Vindicate it. Just bring it back. Do that as long as we need to. Don't care about that. Actually, do we? Can we make a servo? That is scary. Because they have the mana to use it a couple times. One, two, three, four. No, they can use it once. Presumably they'll make a servo in the end step, but I think I'm just going to play Shieldred. Also makes the Abyss worse. If we give it a few turns. <sighs> They're going to make one for sure at the end step, but they'll have to sacrifice it to Shieldred if I play Shieldred. They can make a 1-1 one, one flyer right now, and I can't block that Shieldred. But Shieldred will also get me my Necromancer back. The birds, the flowers, the picnics, the I mean, I can just Vindicate it. They have 5 mana, which is enough for 2 and tap. No, they can untap it, but they can't make a flyer this turn. Shieldred will force them to sack it, but they'll have untapped, so they can sack it. Well, no matter what they do, unless they make multiple. I think Vindicate's just safer. We're on a clock here. And we're one white source away from Dream Trawler. I'm going to make a servo. I'm going to untap it, but that doesn't do anything. Except tap you out of mana. Oh no, it taps for... Wait. Yeah. Okay. I was like, what? What? Alright. Because we can play Shieldred next turn. And get the sack. Or draw something and get Dream Trawler, which is like what I really want. So I want lifelink. Sad that I'm being stared down by a 1 1 servo right now. Not good. They have a few draws that could be good. That is good for us. Terrific. Okay. We're close. Two, four, six, eight. Could just play Villas technically, but I like Shieldred better for the fact that it'll make them sack something. They'll sack the servo, and then if they play anything, they have to sack again. I feel much safer with Shieldred. We can go out on our own terms with Ulcerate. <laughs> 
You'll never take me alive! I'd rather go out on our own terms winning. I also like that when Shouldred comes, like when the turn comes back around, Shouldred will reanimate something so we can get. Like if they have any way to deal with this, or if. I mean, we just get Doom Necromancer back as a chump, as a body, like whatever. Just keeps our options open. Oh! That was way too close! That was too close. That's the second game. Second game that I won at one life. Magic is hard. You know what I will say, though? I will say this. I really wanted that to be the 3-0 deck because I felt like we just got the absolute nuts. But, but, I am, I felt like every game I got what I got. Like, I mean, I misplayed in the first match, but I still won the match. Second match, I don't think there was anything I could do against them. I did not have good sideboard, and that matchup was bad because I was so much slower than they were. Like, all their two-mana counters, you know, it's the cycle, right? Aggro would have beat them, but they beat my, like, combo deck, and my combo deck beat those green mid-range decks. Like, it's just the circle of life, but damn, that was hard. Oof. Oof. Good cube, though. Good cube, John. I like it. I like it a lot. I really want one trophy, though. I'm a little mad I haven't gotten that yet. I really want one trophy. All right. Well, that was the most terrifying thing ever. Um, yeah. So uh, I think I got to go. That is about what I had expected, schedule-wise. Heart you too, buddy. Um, and listen, John, I'm going to say it right on the air. You, your ideas on like archetypes have really made me think about my own cube and I have some ideas. I may even see if you'll get on the horn sometime after this cube is off MTGO and you're not quite so busy because you gave me some really cool ideas that I'm very interested in. Anyway, um, for everyone who tuned in, thank you very much. This was really fun. This was, I, you know, this deck was crazy fun. Like I really wondered what the reanimator deck looked like when you had the good stuff and that was it. Um, it was really neat to see. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I will be back today's Saturday. I'm going to stream at least one more time. Definitely Monday night, uh, 7 PM Eastern. I want to get in at least one more draft. I've got the play points for it before this goes off. If I can, I'll either go long Monday, depending on how the matches go, or I'll try to get back on like Tuesday or something, or like even Wednesday morning before the cube goes. I'd love to get in two more. I'd love to get in three more, but we'll see. Um, thanks again for tuning in. I love you all. You guys are great. And uh, I know I keep saying this, but really soon I'm going to I'm gonna announce a, uh, a giveaway. Um, I keep thinking... Uh, yeah, I'm going to announce it soon. I want to make sure I have all the details worked out, but uh, I've got some stuff here that I want to give away. So that's going to come up soon. Uh, maybe I'll do that Monday night. Anyway, thank you all. Be safe, be well. And I will see you again soon.